It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets. Today we're watching another movie. We've got another patron request coming at you from Scott, aka Blue62, has requested Cabaret from 1972. Awesome. Awesome indeed. What do you know about this movie, Nate? Um, I don't know nothing about this movie. Really? I don't even know if I've ever heard of it. Really? Before. I mean, I know what the word cabaret means. Okay. It's I like a variety show. Right, Usually yeah. a little bit more, I feel like, adult-oriented. Okay, so like burlesque kind of? Yeah, yeah. So I know that this is a musical movie. Okay. That's all I know about it, though. I don't know anything about, like, the plot or anything like that, or... I know mean, it's a pretty well-renowned musical. Like, in the okay. in musical circles, they speak highly of this of this show and then okay. this movie, I think. You Interesting, know? yeah. I'm generally not really a musical guy, which yeah. is interesting because I like movies and I like music, but for some reason musicals don't grab me yeah. usually or typically I'm the same way, but I don't have like a rule against them or anything. Yeah. I'm seeing on this poster here that uh, Liza Minnelli yeah. is the main character in this. That's I know nice her surprise. only from Arrested Development. Mm -hmm. so yeah, right. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see her do what she's actually famous and skilled for. Yeah, right? that's that's true. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. That was my first touch point too, and I don't think I have any other ones really. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Neither do I. So should we just uh, figure out what this is about and get going? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Let's sounds good. It. Thanks for picking a movie for us, Scott, aka Blue Six Two. Uh, anyone else can take a look at our Patreon and see full-length reactions and movie polls and uh, pick movie patron tier and other fun stuff. So yeah, go look at that. Subscribe. Other things. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like there should be music or something, right? So far, this movie's oh. weird, man. Oh. Okay. Happy to see you. Bleib a rest is day. Welcome here with you. Okay. Welcome here to Cabaret. Meine Damen und Herren, Mesdames et Messieurs. That guy. From yeah. Austin Powers. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Was that a still frame? <laughs> it kind of seemed like it. Everyone looks very unentertained by this. So it's a drag club? Hmm. It looked There's like it pieces of that in Cabaret, I think. It's sort of, okay. you know, burlesque drag, you know, um, like dance lines, you know, whatever. Okay. And like comedy shows and, you know, it's like a usually... Vaudeville. Yeah, variety, variety show. You have to understand the way I am, mine hair. A tiger is a tiger, not a lamb, mine hair. You'll never turn the vinegar to So I feel like most so Germans do, speak English too. Oh yeah? Do, yeah. It's very I'm common. Is this entertaining? It is in like, 1931. Yeah, I guess, yeah. It's hard for modern people like us to internalize just how much less access people had to Can't images any. of beautiful women yeah, than we have. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Like, we have so much access to images of beautiful women all the time. We kind of have to work to avoid it. Yeah, it's really, it's to like, to literally show like this. in our face, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she just bumps cigarettes. She's so bubbly and perky. Yeah. I don't want something to destroy her in right. this business yeah. or something. She's hot stuff, yes. Yeah, she seems like she's pretty. She's got a lot of like uh, 
like self-assuredness and like just very competent. Mm -hmm. Feels like the only way to have a character arc <laughs> is if something terrible happens. I hope not. Yeah. Wrestling? <laughs> awesome. Mud wrestling. Okay. If it's, if it's not too expensive, you know, business is, business is terrible. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Communists, the Nazis. Soon I am with them. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a thing. How do you get a device like that to spray? Is it like seltzer water or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Getting kicked out. Nazis getting kicked out. Getting kicked it's a ground shirt. Okay. <laughs> Tell me all about you. I want to hear everything. Everything. Yeah, I guess. Absolutely. Based on what I know about current day Nazis, mm -hmm. they're probably not taken too kindly. To like, you know, the drag aspects of this performance. Yeah, I don't think they, kind of I don't think they did take too kindly to the cultural uh, freedom of Germany before they took power. Yeah, interesting. What? Is this a good run or a bad run? No, it seems like fun. Yeah. She just wants to catch something fun. Mm. Oh, she is out there, huh? What, so you can mm. scream as loud as you want when the train's going over? Does my company upset you that much? <laughs> he can't handle how vivacious yeah, she is. Yeah, she's a bit much for him. He seems pretty, uh... He seems pretty... ...tightly wound. He's reminding me of the way that Joel looks at Clementine at the beginning of Eternal mm -hmm. Sunshine. Yep, exactly. Maybe not the beginning of the movie, but the early parts of their relationship. Yep. Yeah. Gotta do it. Whoa! Oh my goodness, what? Oh my god, yeah, what? Okay. So is this movie kind of like about the rise of Nazism? I don't know. Around, yeah. Kind of around this cabaret club. They're clearly making fun of the Nazis on stage and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she seems like she like really loves her life. Yeah, yeah. she's she's got she's found her spot, you mm -hmm. know. Wheezing. Wheezing to death. Put me. I think that's an opportunity mm -hmm. if you would like it. Yep. She's down. <laughs> Come on, dude. She's officially made the first move. Mm -hmm. You're not into it. He's not into it. Why not? Yeah, well, that's embarrassing for her. No, I don't think she's going to give up like that. Oh, okay. I don't think she gets deterred that easily. <laughs> 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 She's going to she's going to prove that he wants to. Yep. She knows he's tightly wound. She knows she might have to you know, loosen him up a little him. bit. Yeah. yeah. It's a very nice spot. Is he what is, I think is he like guys or something? Yeah, I'm thinking he might be gay. It's the only possible exclamation I it's can think of. Not the only possible, but just the way yeah. that he's not yeah, into right. it. It doesn't seem like he's like trying to resist anything mm -hmm. or anything like that. Yeah, no, he's just totally not. Yeah, yeah. Unless he's like married or something, but then otherwise, why wouldn't he just say so? This is, we're practically living together. So if you'll 
only like boys. I mean, I wouldn't dream of pestering you. All right. Do you insist? I do not sleep with girls. Okay, mm -hmm. well, there we go. I've gone through the motions of sleeping with girls exactly three times. All of them disastrous. Okay. Oh, no. Well, at least she doesn't have to feel rejected. Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me in the first place? Look, Brian. It's not your business. Absolutely my best friend. And friends are much harder to find than lovers. Besides, sex always screws up a friendship anyway, if you let it. <laughs> no, she's just like, so oh. Let's <laughs> okay. try to screw up a friendship, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So he's... <laughs> He's in a very precarious spot, too. Yeah? For the rise of the Nazis. I would think so. Yep. I mean, they got a few years before it's dicey. You would have been or I guess maybe not. Mm -mm. How did you meet Alandar? I had a letter of introduction from England. They invited me for coffee. Perhaps the father will take a liking from me and give me a job. If I marry her. Partnership, perhaps. I just want the money. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Come in. Good afternoon, Fräulein Landauer. Good afternoon. I recognize her. You do. So we should make a party for speaking English, yes? Oh, well, well, actually, my friends were just leaving. You have this appointment, don't you? I'll cancel it. I love parties. Good. This is wonderful. <laughs> uh, like, can everyone get out of here, please? Cramping his style. This is Miss Sally Bowles. How do you do? <laughs> Last summer, when I... 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 <laughs> Can't use your English that well, can you? No. Oh, so awkward. But it is better now. <laughs> God. <laughs> All the plagum about here. Plagum. What? Uh, plagum. Uh, the plagum. It comes in the tubes. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> P-H is always pronounced as F. And uh, you don't sound the G. Then why are they putting the G, please? That's a good question. Well, that's a very good question, but... Difficult to explain. Are there not silent sure. letters in German? It's English is messed up, man. It's true. It's just there. So, Mr. Professor, you do not know. Don't they say it's the second most difficult I language to learn? I cannot help you. I don't. And English is the first. No, English is the second most difficult. Oh, yeah. language. Mandarin yes. is the first. I believe that. <laughs> she doesn't like being so ignored. Oh God! Oh. How rude! Why is she being like this? Why is she so... She doesn't like that right. they are... I mean, she's not high status, and so she yeah, feels oh, okay. like they are looking down on her. I see. Henry VIII caught it from letting Cardinal Wolsey whisper in his ear. That is not, I think, founded in fact. Hmm. Uh, but from kissing, most decidedly, and from towels, and from cups. What disease are they talking about? And of course, screwing. I missed... Yeah, there you go. I missed I missed that part. <laughs> Doesn't know the word. Fornication. Fornication. <laughs> Bumson. Well. That would be the one German word you pronounce perfectly. Well, I ought to. I spent the entire afternoon bumsoming like mad with some ghastly old producer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, then. Gin, Miss Landau? Prince is overdue. Scandalized. Right, yeah, completely awestruck. Very brave. You see that kiss? You see that kiss? No, I, I was too discreet to look back. What? I think I go. I go crazy with the frustration. You know, oh, she's I, just I so reserved, and I think she's not sure about him. Yeah. Brian. Sally says you're a pounce. 
pounds? Oh, throw on a couch or something. To attack Natalia. <laughs> I don't think he quite is quite grasping the pounds, huh? Pounds. Uh, he's gonna misinterpret that advice. Mm hmm Dear Sally, sorry, schedule revised at last minute. Writing love. Got stood up. Mm. Bastard! I'll show him! I'll mm. become a big film star! Okay. Mm. So. She's trying to impress her father. He tries to love me. Perhaps he even thinks he does. Maybe he doesn't deserve your pity. But the real truth <laughs> is that he just doesn't Care. I think his approval is what she's after. Right, yeah. Maybe I'm not worth caring about. Oh. Maybe I am. Just nothing. Nothing. Oh God. Oh, God. No. God. That's never the answer. Do no. don't let your no. parent make you think that just by failing as a parent. I think it's it's difficult not to. Right. But, of course. Yeah. You're perfectly. Girl. Yeah, I think it's clear that she doesn't necessarily feel that way most of the time. But she feels it's she... what he must think. Yeah, right. And that's that's devastating. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, Are they going to do something after all? He's like, okay, let's give yeah. it a whirl. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time. I feel like that was a long break between songs. Yeah. They were kind of doing some establishing stuff. There's a short one, too. Those three girls. Just the wrong three girls. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not so much as he's into guys, but he just had enough bad sexual experiences that he was like, this whole thing is not for me. Yeah, interesting. I guess I didn't realize Liza Minnelli could... Had pipes. She oh, sing. yeah, I knew singing and dancing was what she was famous for. Like, oh, I did not. I knew w her presence on Arrested Development is, like, a joke in and of itself in that, like, it's Liza Minnelli, the song and dance lady, as yeah. just the old lady neighbor, you know? Yeah, like, right. It's, her presence there was a punchline. That's funny. Damn. Yeah. Really wow. belting it out. That's a cool shot. Yeah. Our acquaintance is not long, but I'm choosing you because I know no other young woman who is giving her body frequently to men. <laughs> My English. Am I making an embarrassment? No, no. She did not mean that rudely. No. Prince Vandal has declared love for me. The night before yesterday, Parents are from the house, and we are seated here upon my father's library sofa. Oh no, did oh, he? Oh no. Pounce. Toes aside the formalities. There is fire, there is passion for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he made love to you on my father's library sofa. <laughs> he is showing no respect. I'm fighting, I'm calling out. Oh God. Mm, no, that's. In me. Oh. And oh. Him, I think only of him. Oh. How is this love? Uh. Or mere infatuation of the body? Maybe a little column A and a little so column B. Yeah, I think she's as like unsure about this whole thing as as we are. Yeah. It's like, is this a good? Yeah. It is. 
She, yeah, she's. Does she know if she had fun? He, he is. In that case, I guess you better just forget the whole thing. Yeah, she's like, this is too oh messy. God, look, yeah. I really, please don't cry. I'm no good at all if anybody cries. So she crying because she feels like she can't. She can't marry him, right? Yeah. Yeah. But she has feelings for him, and yeah. she doesn't know what to do. So are we also to assume that this is, these are like primarily German, like audiences, right? Yeah. And most of the cabaret seems to be like kind of in a mix of German and English, it's or true. just English. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, you know. It there's, is funny. There's, there's yeah, a comedy goofy, yeah. to it, if you, you know, if these are the entertainment options, I can see yeah. how this could be your selection. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Playing the saw. He's actually like keeping it at certain pitches. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? That's it's not easy. Oh, now he's jealous. Post, my friend. Yeah, that would be rough, man. He didn't even think he could. Yeah. Like fall for somebody. Yeah, I think it. I think if he's only had sex three times and they were all a disaster it seems like you'd just be like i just don't think i'm gonna do that again exactly and then the, uh, one time it works out it's done that's done now to have a very difficult time letting that go mm -hmm. it'd be that much stronger of a sense of oh i connected to this person yeah right is this gonna be a thruple I'm afraid I have no time to have draft. Darling, isn't that beautiful? So... Like, he's just trying to steal her right out from under this other man, and, like, that just seems to be okay. Like, yeah. she should just go with whoever makes her happier, is how it works. I mean, I guess that that is what she should do, but in terms yeah, of the dynamic right. between them, of, like, she doesn't have to end it with the one guy to let the other guy give it a shot, you know? Yeah, right. Seemingly. As a matter of fact, they're all out to dinner. Mm -hmm. So... What? Yeah, what's the angle here? This is very strange. Oh no. Oh, well, this they guy's had weird quite a too. good time. Yeah. Basil is uncomfortable. Yeah, what about the violence and the Nazis and the Yeah, this is this is happening. Let them get rid of the communists. Later we'll be able to control them. But who exactly is we? Germany, of course. Okay, yep. that's a good plan. Let them get rid of the communists, and then later we can control them. Mm -hmm. That's what'll happen. So he was saying, let the Nazis get rid of the communists? Exactly. And then funny? we'll deal with the Nazis after that. I sort of think the new guy is actually aligned with the Nazi party. That's a, something I'm going to okay. throw out there. He's not, he's not letting, showing all of his cards yet. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of, like, <laughs> you know, based on our standards for entertainment, like, it takes a minute to, like, even figure out what the hell is actually happening. Exactly. And once you kind of get into it, it's yeah. pretty good. This is funny in yeah. a stupid way. It's goofy, yeah. And it's all really sexual, but also, like, has an innocence to it that's exactly. really, like... You know, it's like we all know what we're talking about yeah, here, but we won't right. make that totally, you know, not even like, you know, like the jokes are obviously like this is a, this is a show for adults, but it's, yes. it's playful and not there's no power dynamic. Really exactly. Involved. It's just 
No one's meant, no one's meant to experience jokes. genuine arousal from it. Or right, yeah, like exactly. It's supposed to be funny. It's a sex comedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's American Pie for audiences in the 30s. Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, outrageous. They're probably just banking on anybody who's in the front row at a show like this is a good sport. <laughs> yeah, right. I think, you know, audience participation in something like this would be, like, an important piece, you know? Mm-hmm. What the hell is the dynamic here? I'm so confused about this. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Are they friends? Are you still married? Very much so. He's trying to make this like a, we're all just swinging here. I guess. Everyone just needs to it's fucking chill time. out and stop oh. being so possessive. I guess. <laughs> Where am I, Let's go, the three of us. That sounded like they were actually recording sound from where they were shooting yeah, really far away. Like, yeah. Don't fall in the fire. <laughs> Is this headed towards something between I'm the three of them? That's kind of... That's sort of the vibe I'm getting. He's like, why... <laughs> What is he thinking? Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't understand what we're supposed to get from this if not that. You know? Right, yeah. I feel like that's what he's trying to set up. The king of the oh. <laughs> okay. He's just Maybe drunk. I don't like that joke anymore. Yeah, he's not. And we just saw that musical number about how three is the optimal number. Mm hmm. Yep. You know? Okay, yeah, there something you go. is. This is what's up. Okay. If you're drunk, definitely spinning around is a good. <laughs> it's a good way to end up way. on the floor. Yes. <laughs> Standing is not something we want to do right now. Oh, the tension is palpable. Yeah. Is he gonna uh -oh. sneeze? He's gonna pop. No. Oh. Oh. This oh. is gonna make him upset, though. Sure, I think so. Yeah, they're warming up. It's all good. You think that's that actual kid's voice? I think that's actually him singing? Yeah, probably. They might have re-recorded it, they're outside. Oh yeah, I mean, most of the songs have been dubbed. Oh, look at that. Okay. I was about to give him a compliment, and now I'm not going to anymore. Somebody gives his yep. yep. The correct number of Nazis to have in your country is zero. Mm -hmm. Zero Nazis. Yeah, this is kind of before... It was kind of just... What I'm gleaning is that most of the country wasn't really in the middle. It was like a Nazis versus the communists. Right, yeah. The, like the, the Nazis fight. were around, but they had not gotten power yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, Oh, God. It's sinister to hear him yes, sing. Yes, it is. So are they at, like, a Nazi, like, event? Uh, I feel like if you're just this out. guy's singing, then maybe, yeah. And everyone's like joining it. Yeah, right. It's like, you know. Oh god. Oh, the old guy knows where it's going. Yeah. Like, nah. Yeah, this is not good. Yep, they're at a Nazi event. Okay, wonderful. 
I feel like a lot of our our hyper vigilance right now, you know, I'm in terms of just watching the slow crawl of potential like fascism in America is yeah. about the knowledge that like yeah there were Nazis back then but people didn't really think it was a big deal and then it like escalates you know right, it escalates exactly. and escalates and then all of a sudden they're running the country Whew. scary man now I know that you love me I know you are an honest man who would never never lie to me it was about the money though yeah, yeah. I beg of you marry me I can't. Oh. Is it your parents? Isn't it? It's not my parents. It is me. It is you too. Okay. Oh, oh hey, let go. Oh, he just jumped on. <laughs> what am I doing? That's a good question, man. Don't you see what is happening in Germany today? I'm a Jew. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Goodbye, dear Fritz. Oh. That's devastating, man. She's got to be very yeah. careful. Yeah. It's also, you know, her awareness is so much higher than his mm -hmm. about, like, what that could actually mean. About what's coming. Yeah. yeah. their dynamic man <laughs> we probably talked over it <laughs> yeah it's true sorry i told china we'd be gone for at least two months maybe more she cried and cried and said she misses do you think it was the nazi stuff happening at that event that he brought them to and now all of a sudden he's soured to the whole idea um i don't know like, I have a feeling that she's a little bit maybe ignorant to the the political intricacies of what's going on here. Yeah. But he's not. Aren't you ever gonna stop deluding yourself? Hmm? Damn, you're handling Max. Behaving like some ludicrous little underage femme fatale. You're you're about as fatal as an after dinner mint. What? Whoa. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Sounded like an insult, though. Yeah. You can't stand Maximilian because he's everything that you're not. He doesn't have to get Or is he a yeah, Nazi? Is it a, yeah. He really appreciates a woman. Oh, screw Maximilian! <laughs> yeah. There we go. But why? Two. Shouldn't that be three? I'm yeah. really not following this movie as well as I think I'm supposed to. It's all right. Yeah, this is a '70s take on, on 30s the '30s Germany. Yeah. And the plot is not necessarily like an A to B, like. Mm -hmm. well, I don't even know what lessons I'm supposed to be learning. Yeah, he's a he's a antifa. <laughs> yeah, he's not liking this shit at all. I think that that's what it was. I think the fact that they, he realized that they were at a Nazi rally. Oh, he got yep. punched. Yep. Nice. No. Not good, but I'm glad that he was willing to go that distance right, to tell yeah, the Nazis yeah. to fuck off. There's no shame in getting your ass kicked by Nazis. It means you pissed them off. I suppose. Jesus Christ. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, maybe she does kind of understand the implications of... But, you know, at this point, you're just like... It's not that big of a deal. Exactly. You Keep know? your head down. Right. Yeah. You can see how they think that. Right. They have no context. The only they reason don't know why the we future. know better is yeah. because of the context that we have now. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. shit. Oh! 
Oh, fuck. Why Kill did the they do dogs? that? Why did they do that? I mean, I understand, <laughs> but like, movie-wise, that came yeah. out of nowhere too. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, it's it's the slow escalation. We're watching the very in the background of all of this. It starts with just you know a Insane. rally here or there. Look at this. They're a joke. The we make fun of them on the stage. They're a joke, yeah, but right. this is what they're doing in right. the world. You exactly. know. Yeah, this place is about to get torched. Oh, is that the climax of the movie? I, is the Nazis coming in to shut yeah. it down? What is it, Sally? What's happening? God damn it, I'm gonna have a baby! Whoa! Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't shout that in the library. What are you going to do? Obviously, I can't have it. Get a DNA test. Just Doctor, kidding. That's ice, right? Yeah. How the hell did they do that? I mean, where did the ice come from in the first place? Naturally occurring areas. Oh, okay. Well, that's a stand-up thing to do, I guess. There's a chance the baby's his. Well, I also think that just being an unwed mother in this time period was not... Right, they he's fun, saying because yeah. there's a chance it's his, he's gonna step up and be there for her. That's funny, because I, I sort of read it as, like, he doesn't really care, he just cares about her. Right, They're yeah, They're like yeah. friends, you know? Yeah, he, I guess he, it if doesn't... If, if he knew for sure it wasn't his, he would still do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Probably is yours. But I don't suppose we'll ever know for sure. There you go. Honestly. That is so sweet. It is. It's a yeah. very big commitment. How's Natalia? Not good. I do not speak of Natalia. Oh, he doesn't even know, probably. They are all in it together. If all the Jews are bankers, then how can they be communists too? Sen That's a good question. Guys, you don't really believe that, do you? But you read it every day in the Völkische Beobachter. Oh, and that guy's listening. Yep. If there exists another well-organized group of which you're obviously a member, the International Conspiracy of Horses' Arses. <laughs> Very good. Oh, got him. Yeah, fuck you, man. Oh, well. What the hell? I'm getting the so sense that this dude, like... Gave her to the Nazis for some reason. Interesting. I thought you loved her. Love, love. Because she turned him down. I mean, her reasoning was sound. I am a Jew. It says in my paper's religion, I'm writing Protestant. Oh, okay. So mm. I could just tell something was really worrying him. So that was the vibe yeah. that I got. But. Has turned me into an honest man. That's what? You're good, she says. A man of integrity who will never lie to me. Oh, so now he can't oh, bear that he yeah. did lie to her. What does she do if I tell her no? I tell you what she does if I tell her no. She kicks me out into the streets. I think you might be surprised, bro. I think she, she would understand. And she already rejected you for not being Jewish, so this yeah, is like your one shot. And then I think comes a big Nazi with a club and bangs me on the head. That's yeah, legitimate right, worry. Actually, he's like the one thing that could make her want to marry me. I can't tell anybody. Yeah. Puts me in the crosshairs. What a coward am I? No, I think you're you're fine, dude. Based on what happens later on, I think it's, uh, you know. A uh, warranted concern. Yes. yes. It would change your point of view. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes. If you could see us through my eyes, you wouldn't wonder at all. That's terrifying. Yeah, that is a really <laughs> upsetting mask, isn't it? Maybe they all understand. So 
So there's like really no, it doesn't seem like there's any additional commentary here. It's just funny. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's just like a, this is that would be funny. She wouldn't look Jewish at all. Whoa. Okay. So they are. It's. Yeah. This is the very end there. And does he doesn't know what happened to her? Did like they killed her dog? Did they do anything else? I don't think she's gonna be there. I think you get one dead dog before they come for you. Yeah. I'm a Jew. Okay. All right. Well, just had to get it out. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. this is the outcome they wanted, right? And maybe they can get to safety together. I mean, how much, how bad would things have to get before you're like, I'm gonna abandon my home. Exactly, all yeah, All my right. worldly possessions to run away to some other country. Like, yeah, I, even though Europe's pretty tight-knit, I would still be like, you know, she's got a good thing going, seemingly. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic, isn't it? Just your life and my life. Solved in one fell swoop and all by the baby. Sure. That's how that works. See, she. I don't think that she has any idea, like what is happening around her. Like really, like, up from like a. I don't think politics are her thing. Well, they don't know the future either. You know, right. like even. It's... But they, can, I think he can kind of see the slow escalation that's happening. Mm-hmm. Hey. Don't understand. I don't think we're supposed to yet. What? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we won't understand. She's having thoughts about, like, having a kid backstage at the show. I suppose I wonder what on earth happened to me. And I'm afraid I made a night of it. Hmm. What? You did it, didn't you? Did what, darling? The abortion. Oh. Was it a friend of a friend of a friend of an assistant director who said he'd try to squeeze you into the chorus line? That is, of course, if you... Oh, shut up. Oh. Well, then it's just as well, isn't it? For you. For I think the reason she did this is because she thinks that she Would you be an angel? doesn't have your respect. Yeah. And I had this infantile fantasy that one day I'll amount to something as an actress. How soon would it be before hmm. I started well, so... dashing out and disgracing myself at some... Pub. She's at least realizing this was a huge responsibility yeah. they were going to take on together when they weren't ready yeah. as as a unit as partners, you know. <laughs> I, I think I'll sleep a while. Yeah, she's been having a lot of feelings, I would imagine. Yeah. I understand why he had feelings too. It's good that he was able right. to come around and. And understand her, yep. yeah. Try to be a supportive partner. Darling, I'd love to come down onto the platform with you and wear the tiny white handkerchief, etc. There is that interview. You may not amount to anything, but you never, never know. know. <laughs> so they're parting ways? No. I think he's... Oh, maybe. Is he leaving? Yeah. Oh, that bumps me out, although they seem like it's amicable, at least. Well, she can still perform. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's the big showstopper finish. Mm -hmm. Where are your troubles now? Forgotten? I thought you so. We have no troubles here. Here life is beautiful. The girl. <laughs> <laughs> Those tableaus yeah. are so weird. Okay. Yeah. And there are Nazis in the crowd. <sighs> interesting. Wild. The ending. Strange in the same way the beginning was, you know? Yeah. Where, like, I almost feel like it was meant to simulate the experience of what it's like to be in a little, you know, maybe basement theater room like that, watching a cabaret show, where when it starts, you're kind of sitting in silence and there's mm -hmm. chattering of people around that slowly comes up and then it begins, you know, and then yeah. the ending is the kind of the same way. The guy kind of walks off stage, then you're left looking at who is the crowd of people around me. Yeah, you know, yeah, right. So, I don't know. That's, That's very just interesting. My I like that. Initial reaction to what that beginning and ending are like. It's mm -hmm. sort of what it's like to sit in a theater for a show like that. But yeah, this was a, a romance set in yeah. in Weimar, Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't it, know. It was, there's, okay, so there's a couple of things going on here, and I feel like they don't all, like, it's not a clean, like, fit for all of them. Like together, like all the well, Nazi, the rise of the Nazi stuff initially, was maybe, very yeah. much in the background for most of it. There was, yeah, the, yeah. There was the secondary relationship between, or like the, the secondary Yeah, it, it wasn't so much commenting on that social time as it yeah. was just the setting of this story. Yeah. I actually think that there's something really kind of important about that and the fact that it was, it was, I kept. I feel like I kept trying to find where the characters had like a strong opinion about what was going on around them but it really wasn't expressed very no. much at all and I think it was a good way of showing that this stuff all happens around the context of regular people yeah. trying to live their lives and deal and with the their own problems yeah <laughs> one of the the shots that kind of struck me was as they were walking down the street and there were all those posters I couldn't read any of them and I don't know who was on them but they was all the the sort of like whatever like the um just somebody had painted over them with like the the hammer and sickle and crossed out the face and stuff mm -hmm. and it was just like they were just kind of walking by it and exactly. having a conversation it's happening that all had around them to yeah. do with it yeah i wasn't even like during that scene really listening to their what they were saying i was just watching all these posters go by and being like man somebody took like all night to like, right. To like, and yeah. If anything, it was the Jewish characters that were the ones who were most acutely aware mm -hmm. of like, there's something that I need to worry about here. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like a, the forces at play we have to, you know, that we can't just ignore. Yeah. And but yeah, it wasn't the main characters, and it wasn't the main thrust of the story. Even though like, because we know what happens next in this setting and time period, it, it, as viewers, we kept getting pulled towards them wanting to focus on that. Yeah, like, right. Oh, you need to you need to look more closely at that, but that's not what the char the principal characters were mainly concerned with no. in their lives, I guess. I think the the strongest opinion was expressed by the main the main guy. The, but he was British, right? So he was like, and his reaction wasn't so much like this is a huge problem as it was like. You're an idiot. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. These people are jerks. Was yeah, you know, right. which is true, and you don't like having jerks all around you that espouse that stuff. But yeah, he didn't. The gravity of it wasn't as you know obvious to him. I mm -hmm. guess when we were in high school, you might remember this. I was in a play in high school called Rhinoceros. It is about this same topic. I do remember. So yeah, something right. about this. Rhinoceros is a ago. is a play about a village in France where all the characters are turning into rhinoceroses one after the other. Yes. And okay. The main right, character yeah, yeah. is like, why are you all turning into rhinoceros? It's an allegory about Nazi right. takeover in yeah. France, about Vichy France, and so yeah, it's a similar. I mean, it's been a long time since I was in that play, and I was a tenth or eleventh grader at the time, but. Um, 
Yeah, it's just like a similar kind of theme of like people trying to go about their daily lives while this stuff is kind of happening around them. And I don't yeah, know and just starting to all of a sudden realize like, you guys notice there's a lot more Nazis around all of a sudden? <laughs> right, exactly. Like yeah. the people around you who just like are seem like just normal people all of a sudden start saying these things and you're just like, what? Right, yeah. yeah it's like, how can they be both control of the banking system and communists at the same time. That doesn't make any it's sense. Like, how oh, can they be, they'll figure out a way. <laughs> yeah, how can they be the the genetically worst aspect of German culture and this evil superpower that's slowly right, trying yeah, to erode our... Like, contradictory how, like, things. Yeah, it's just anything that... Will, whatever dissonance. will make you think of them as outsiders, we want to say. You right. know, all those things that can't all be true at once, all of it. Yeah, yeah and it's like the cognitive dissonance never really... Like, those two things... You never... Like, the people who end up falling victim to that stuff, just they never get to the point where it's like, yeah, you know what, maybe that doesn't really make, like, a whole lot of sense. Maybe I should exactly. think about this a little bit more yeah. critically. And those are the people who are the most at risk. And uh, I really don't like to <laughs> over-politicize our current day, but I feel like it is difficult not to see similar yeah. sort of patterns of it's... thinking coming up in our current, like, situation. I would and say it's, it's important in all societies to make sure you're always on guard against this kind of mm -hmm. force rising and want to make sure that you see the small signs as, you know, like, don't overreact to things, but no. also see things as what they could be a step towards and address them in those terms, I guess, is yeah. what we would say for that topic here. And it's, you know, and I'm not advocating any action necessarily one no. way or the other, but just to realize that, like, you know, sort of the way the movie sort of started you off with, like, oh, you're seeing this little, oh, look, okay, so we're, like, in the before the Nazis, like, started, like, mm -hmm. really gain power, and, like, the numbers of the representation of Nazism in the movie increased and increased and increased. Definitely, and you they started trickled to see, it in. Yeah. yeah, and, like, like, that's sort of why I said earlier, like, the correct number of Nazis <laughs> or white supremacists to have in your country is zero That's because right. the, the moment yeah. that's one the, it's like it's not like we're gonna go from from three cases to zero and it's right, like, no, right. That, well it, it's a it rolls away it becomes it's a snowball effect yes it metastasizes will, yes it and you will, gotta you yes. want to prevent that um we don't have to hammer on this same yes, point. Yes, no, I yeah. know, but that's it. It's just interesting how it wasn't really about that, and so no, I feel like we should talk was, about the other aspects. Exactly, of this movie, yeah. Which it's... you know, musical stuff. The, the songs were fun. It was that was definitely yeah. an enjoyable, goofy vaudeville stuff. So, and also, I really did like this musical a lot, and it's one of the things I really appreciated about the musical aspect of it is the thing that maybe drives me, it makes me the most like. Uh, that puts me off of musicals most of the time mm -hmm. is that the narrative gets interrupted randomly by the characters that I'm supposed to be identifying with breaking into song and dance. So in you situation. can't, you, you don't like the the surrealism of yes, that. But this yeah. was all songs in the context yeah. of the story. It worked. Yeah. Another reason that I think my favorite movie musical is Oh Brother Where Art Thou? And it follows that rule yes. too where it doesn't break the movie to put the songs in. The music you know? is all, I mean diegetic is the wrong term, but it all it It's all happening in the, story, in the story and it makes yeah. sense for the characters to be listening to or singing music. Yeah, and you, right. you know what dude? That is one of my favorite movies of all time. I yeah. really do like that movie and a People lot, don't so even it's... realize that's a musical a lot no, of the times the, when you call it one and people are like, wait a minute, what? So like, yeah. good. Well, and it's, I mean, yeah. it by any definition of a musical, it meets it. You know? Yeah, like it's, totally. It totally is one, but people don't even see that. Um, it, and it's... <laughs> I, d I liked that the music was all in cabaret style. There wasn't yeah. really a, anything that was like totally broke mold of what the whole... It, the, right, was there almost... wasn't like a lament for the character to sing when she was sad or anything right. like that. Right, yeah. Was, I mean, the, the cabaret songs had different emotional tones to them, but it was all still within that wheelhouse mm -hmm. for sure. Which makes it also more fun because yeah. cabaret is all about fun like it being <laughs> kind of fun and silly and wacky i i really feel like this was definitive liza minnelli like when you think of that performer this is what you're supposed to think mm -hmm. of you know so it's good to have this as part of like the cultural canon it's good to have seen this movie and yeah. just know you know i mean i've definitely heard it talked about in musical conversations before as one of the all-time greats too so and she was killer in it oh definitely yeah, yeah. what is mad respect so much i had no idea emotional power yeah mm -hmm. from such a yeah definitely a, an unconventional 
lead actor for a movie, definitely. Yeah. I feel like it was more her story than it was Basil, Basil from Austin Powers, no, whatever yeah, totally. his name was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she was great. She's not just Lucille too, after all. Who no. Knew? And that's actually kind of the tragedy of having the joke be like, like, you know, in, in that show. Just be mm -hmm. like, you guys all know who this really is. Like, right? look, because we're wasting Liza Minnelli. Isn't that funny? Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because I know she had fun with it. I don't actually think, you know, I'm sure she got her payday and it was oh, all yeah. good. But like, I had no context for what she was actually, what really famous What her for. skills are. Yeah. yeah so right. the fact that she had vertigo and stuff, I feel like was a little joke about it. No, she's like a... A dance a singer and a dancer, you know, exactly. performer. Yeah, she yeah. doesn't get dizzy and fall on her ass, you know. It's like, <laughs> right? She's quite coordinated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's uh, this pretty was, great. This was a fun one. It I really enjoyed was. it. Thanks yeah. for picking it for us, Scott, aka Blue Six Two. You yeah, point definitely. us towards some solid old movies that yes, we are definitely. ignorant about. So, so thanks far, for educating us. I've, I, I'm always a little bit apprehensive of the older movies, just because I'm like, again, usually there's just not enough explosions where we are modern the cuts people are yeah. too long and the scenes are they can't expect me to listen to what they're talking right, about exactly where's the robot in it <laughs> but like they so far so far so good they've been I mean, good suggestions they, so yes good. thanks a lot scott aka blue 62 and thanks everyone else for watching with us if you made it to the end leave a comment saying i made it all the way to the end yes. that's cool that's yeah, fun we appreciate seeing those because it it's like Makes us we, feel we like discuss this, a lot afterwards. This part is actually useful to people or yes. interesting to people. So yeah, thanks for watching and join us for more videos. Explore our channel. Watch another one of our videos right after this one. The algorithm likes that. Yes. Uh, until next time, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. This is Ketchup Packets.